Hello everyone, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. And today I just wanted to show you some more envelopes that I'm making with my EK Tools scoreboard and some changes that I've made to it since I first opened it out of the package. If you haven't, if you're interested in making envelopes and you haven't seen my other video about this product, go ahead and watch that one. It has more details, step-by-step -step instructions and also some more ideas about the envelopes themselves. So I wanted to show you that today I'm using an eight by eight square, uh, eight inches fine, but I'm trying to make room for some extra large embellishments. So I went with eight and an eighth, and it's always a square, whether you go eight or eight and a quarter, eight and a half, it's always a square. And then since the last video, I took a Sharpie and made a mark at two and three quarters and three and a half, just so that I, I don't have to stop and look at the instructions and I can find it. So to make an envelope, you just take your paper, put it at an angle against the corner, and you kind of have to hold this down or everything will slide, and score it here. And then I flip it all the way around instead of one at a time, and use the same line again, and hold it down. And then go to three and a half. And then after you score this, you snip out the corners. And if you snip them a little more than 90 degree angles, you don't have to go back and clean them up. So just slightly angled outward. Any scissors will work fine, but I'm using my smallest pair. out those corners and uh, the paper that I'm using tonight is from one of those 12 by 12 paper packs the it's not uncommon in a large craft store to see a 12 by 12 paper pack on sale for five dollars or 70% off or 40% off and then you can use another coupon so I think I've warned you in the past about purchasing those they'll suck you in but Several of the pieces that I'm using tonight, my friend gave me from one of those paper packs that one of her friends gave her. And I looked at some that were on sale this week. I felt like I'm making envelopes, but I resisted the urge because I know I still have some of this thinner paper in my stash. Like I said before, the, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this, tri this uh, square out right here. You could leave it if you want, it doesn't matter really. Um, but, I said before, resist those big paper packs because lots of times there's a few things in there that you like, but then maybe you don't like the whole pad and you end up with too many. But it's okay if that happens to your friends and they give them to you. So there we go. It's just really fun to see different patterns that you choose and how it turns out, your envelope does. One thing that I noticed earlier when I made a few of them that was fun, hadn't really thought about was I made this envelope and then I had pieces like this these sizes left over so then I made a card that matched it and I just used some white embossing the matching patterned paper and then I had this piece of paper with some distress oxide that matched sitting on my desk so with each piece of 12 by 12 paper you could make an envelope and a corresponding card to go with it if you know, if you were using 12 by 12, because that's what you had. So there's just another fun idea, and I hope that you're making some time to do some projects that you like and take breaks, and that these inspired you. I'm not sure exactly what card this is going to go with, so I probably should make a matching card for it, but this will go with a lot of different things. So thank you so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and... Have a great, great weekend. Bye-bye.